on the road again. Yep, we're on the road again. Man, we've been coming and going so much lately. A lot lately, it seems like. But there's lots of business we got to handle. Mm-hmm. Yep. Getting it all together and taken care of. Today is shaping up to be a beautiful, beautiful day. However, it is extremely windy outside. Yeah, that makes it quite dangerous to be up on uh, the second story doing that deck work. Yeah. So we kind of pivoted and changed our, uh, our plan. We were planning on doing the deck work today, but with the wind being as crazy as it is, and with, you guessed it, more rain on the horizon, yep. we decided, you know what, let's let's go and handle something else. So we're actually on our way over to my mom's house right now. Mm -hmm. Her honeydew list still has some honeydew on it. And, uh, you know, I think you guys saw in last week's vlog, we were helping her out with a few things. She's getting some, um, some work done to her farmhouse. She's getting some new flooring in in the bathrooms and yep. uh, doing all that kind of stuff. So we're actually headed back over today to finish up the job that we were working on for Mama. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do the deck working tomorrow. Yeah, it should be uh, should be pretty good. We'll be able to knock all this stuff out. Um, I have a plan to be able to get this done as quick as possible. Yep. And make it to where we're uh, moving and grooving. Yeah. So we got all of our tools this time too. Like we didn't really know that we were going to have to be like working with the pecs. We honestly, I didn't, we didn't really think about it. No, and I thought I, in my mind, I was thinking of it going through the wall. Yeah. You know, instead uh, of through the cabinet. Correct. And so. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, go rewatch the vlog. That's right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go rewatch it. So yeah, we got to, we're going to go back and, uh, take care of those things and make it to where, you know, we can easily maneuver and do what we need to get done, done. Yep. And uh, yeah, I got all my tools. I got all the uh, supplies and everything that will make the job go that much quicker and that much easier. Yep. So it should be, it should be smooth sailing. Should be. <laughs> and either way, it'll be nice to go over and hang out with mom and visit with her and see how she's doing and stuff. Yep. And uh, I think Brittany's over there hanging out too. And yeah, it'd be good to see everybody. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Brittany, this last weekend, we actually went over to mom's too, but not to do any work. We actually went over to do Brittany's uh, baby gender reveal. Yeah. And it was so fun, guys. Uh, in fact, I got some, uh, some footage I'm gonna share with you guys. Check this out. Look at how cute this is. Aww. Hi, sissy. Good up all night. Hi, grandma. Hi. Grandma. I know, I look like grandma right now. Too. <laughs> uh, this is my older sister, Dawn. This is not my finest moment. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. You're so Hi, beautiful. Hi. You can see the family resemblance, yes. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Is my sister Dawn. She is the oldest out of us three. She is two years older than Anthony, six years older than me, and the mother to the big three kids, Patrick, Brittany, and Kylie. Yes, yes. we're gonna point it out again. <laughs> again. Again. Every time. Every time. Everyone, everyone's like, who's, what's going on here? Yeah. yeah. Here's the mommy to be. Hi. Look at the babies. Look at that, you're finally popping. I know. Ooh. Even my egg. <laughs> yes, I am um, 22 weeks and I think like three, three days. Aww. So, so I'm excited. All right, ladies. Now is the moment. We got Colin and Brittany sitting over there by their cake. Yay! And it's the moment of truth, huh, Ju? Uh huh. Moment of truth. Everybody, you guys ready to find out what the baby is? Yay! Team boy, say yay. Yay! Team girl, say yay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's very exciting. You excited, Grace? Tasty! Bring them on camera. Grab the back of the Too fast. It goes too fast. Grandma. Should be. Good hard. I know. I'm a grandma. Yeah. 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 Guys, Grand Noni. Grand Noni. It sounds oh, wait, no, cancel. <laughs> <laughs> I see this Grandma, way. are you ready? Yes. Yes. You I ready? That great grandbaby's gonna be. Yes. Woo! Boy or girl. Boy or girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Do it, right. good, good. The moment of truth. I know what it is. The moment of truth. Right. Who goes who money? It? What is it? Everyone's excited. 
Pull it out. What is it? I already it? know it. I I was a big loser. I was so confident too that it was going to be a baby girl, man. I would have, I, I literally bet a hundred dollars on it, yep. but I'm a big loser. Yep. It's all right. Brittany and Colin can use the extra cash. And uh, Colin actually said he was going to come over and help me dig holes anyway. <laughs> Cause that was our, our deal. You know, I was going to give him, I wasn't really going to make him give me a Benji. I was going to make Colin come and work the, work it off. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he said that he would come over and help us dig some holes when it's time for us to do the front mud room. So that's a blessing. Thank you, Colin. You don't have yes. to, but I appreciate you, bro. Um, but yeah, we're expecting a, a new little baby boy in the family. Uh -huh. It's going to be so sweet. I'm so excited for them. And Abraham and Wyatt, they are so stoked, man. They're like... They're, they're jumping up and down for yeah. joy, like, no tomorrow. Abraham always wanted a little brother, and Gary and I stopped at three kids. We, I wanted four, but after we had Abe and I was already in my 30s, I was like, you know what, it's it's time. No. And so I actually ended up getting getting fixed, and uh, so there's no more babies in our future. But Abraham, he's, you know, made mention how he always wanted a little brother and stuff. Yeah. And I told him, well, you got Wyatt. I know he's not younger than you, but you got Wyatt, and I know he's your cousin, but no. y'all are living on the same property, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, now he's going to have a little, another little cousin that's going to look up to him and, you know, they're going to be best of house. Yeah. That's going to be really, really fun. I know. Should be really cool. Really awesome. I'm excited. We'll be able to, you know, see the, uh, enjoyment, you know, of a little, you know, newborn again. Yeah. And, uh, not have to deal with all the headache that comes with it. So yeah. The waking I'm, up I'm in the middle of the night that. and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Spoil him rotten and send him back to his parents. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. So yeah, the baby's going to be born, um, in June sometime around Gary's birthday, actually. So yeah. Brittany's getting closer and closer. She's probably about, I think she's halfway done already. Yeah. And more than halfway done, a couple weeks more than halfway done. Mm -hmm. So it's getting closer and closer and we're gonna have another new member of the family. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited for them. I'll have a, we'll have a, a June baby with me. Yeah. I was all alone. You were, you needed a companion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we are just about to pull up to my mom's house. So we're going to go on in here and uh, see everybody, see what we can get into and help mama out. And uh, we're going to bring you guys along. So let's do it. Yeah. So she got a bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Oh, a little bit of everything, you know. Didn't know exactly what we're gonna need fully, but I'd rather have it and then, uh, you know, need it and not have it. Or have it and not need it, then need it and not have it. Exactly. Yeah, that's what you meant. <laughs> that's what I meant. I hear you. Uh, but yeah, we we couldn't do anything last time because we needed my PEX tool. And you need specifically this one tool. Right here. Oh yeah, I remember so that. So we day. can reuse the fitting. If not, then we have to put on a whole new foot uh, fitting. So did you bring some extra fittings in case? Uh, I don't have any fittings for that, but I have tons of crimp rings and all that, and I got excess a little bit. A little excess pipe in case we need it. Well, we're gonna we're gonna need to put a little bit on there. Okay. So so we're gonna cut it. So. Yeah. <laughs> right on. We'll see what I can do. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, we should be all right. We should be all right. I'm gonna cut it at the base. All right, I need this. I got you. Uh, I got that putty knife just in case again, but I don't think we're going to need it. Alrighty. Alright. 
I think I got everything. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> about to find out. We are about to find out. Hey, Mom. How's it going? Oh. Hi, Mama. We've come to fix your bathroom. Yeah. Hi, Hampton. Hi, Hampton. <laughs> yeah, it's got a Hello. little wobble. Meester. All right, so last time Gary and I were over at my mom's house, we were here inside her guest bathroom and we had replaced the toilet and um, cocked all around it and got it all set. But that flange that we had put it on was like a double flange and it was the extra big wax ring. Anyhow, to make a long story short, uh, the toilet, it felt like it was straight, but after you know a week or so of using it, it's starting to wobble a little bit. So Gary's actually working really hard right now getting some of that caulking cut out and we're gonna be shimming it because this toilet actually sits pretty high up off the ground, huh baby? Yeah, it's due to the double flange itself mm -hmm. that has created it, but it's uh, it's pretty common that that's how it gets repaired, so. All right, well, we've got, I've got a solution for it, so. Let's see if I can Pull some of that out to where I can just go in a, a line around it. And then just peel it out, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep, and I'm gonna have to recock this thing. But as you can see, we kinda we kinda wedged it a little bit, but not with anything I guess sturdy enough to uh no. to really keep it from wobbling. So we got a we got a trick for that. Yeah, that gotta, will that will take care of that for sure. I'm gonna check and make sure because if we're if we're not getting any water underneath this thing, we should be good. Yeah, now mom did buy another wax ring if we need to. That's not the extra thick kind. Um, but like Gary said, he's gonna test it and make sure that there's no water underneath there. And if there's no water, then there's no reason to change out that flange. No, we just need to tighten up the the bolt and actually have a good solid backing that's yeah. gonna hold on to it. Which these, these should do it. That should do it. Yeah. All right, so Gary's got it all wedged out now with some of those treated lumber wedges. And now Gary is in here, tightening off that bolt inside the toilet. I'm trying to, I need a socket as well. A socket? It seems like, you know, because it's just spinning. It's leaking right down that hole. Okay, what size socket? I'll go get you one. Um, that feels like a half, that could be a half inch or nine sixteenths. It's dripping. It's dripping. From the bowl. I was like, where is this water coming from? Because it ain't coming from underneath the toilet. And it's dripping from right there. I'm right there. That one bolt. That one bolt. All right, I'll go try to find you a socket. Here you go. I'm gonna go ahead and mark out this baseboard for you. Yeah, that is it. I'm gonna need an extender on this guy. That guy is deep in there. I need an extender for that guy now. Okay. But that is the size. Okay. Mm. 
my field. That's, Mama, that's the right size. Do you have an extender? This is, she said that she can go and look in the shed. It's a little bit longer. 13. Should it be? I mean, I might be able to get that. We can go and look in the shed if we need to, too. There's, that's just all that's like handy right now. Some TP. Or TP. Okay. Wipe up any and all water that I can. All right. Well, get some more water on there. I don't feel any water dripping down now. And now I gotta check the other side. Yeah, make sure it didn't go walking back and forth with it, you know? Mm hmm But I did, I was able to tighten it just ever so slightly. So one thing with toilets and rubber seals. Scary stuff. And it's fully filled. I don't feel any water dripping from right here. We will triple check here in a minute with it nice and fooled like that. But that should have tight, that should have fixed that part. Okie dokie. Sweet. You're so handy, baby. That, that fixed that. All right, so Gary, you got the toilet not linking anymore. Yep. Everything is perfectly good to go. We got those um, treated wood wedges stuck in there. So there's no more little weeble and wobble. We nope. did our best with what we had at the, the first time go around. Mm -hmm. Our biggest mission was just getting a workable toilet for mom that day. Yes. Uh, but now we've got it all set exactly where it needs to go. Zero leak, uh, the wedges are in there. Zero wobble, so that's, mm -hmm. that's an added bonus. Uh, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is get back to work here on this sink here in the guest bathroom. Um, when the flooring got put in here, they put like a baseboard trim around the whole bathroom. And that's, the, although it's very pretty, um, that is stopping the actual sink counter from going all the way up against that wall. And mom does have like a splashback that she has up there and it's creating a gap and she can't put the splashback there. So Gary's gonna go ahead and get the baseboard cut out really quick. So that way we can make sure that everything is nice and tight underneath there and that there's not going to be any leak down there as well. Perfect. So let's get cutting. Let's do it. Sink. 
all up and everything. So I'm really happy I was able to cut that without turning off the water, though. Yeah, no, that was very convenient. Yes. All right. So since I've taken that thing off again, let me go ahead and add some seal on there. In fact, I need light. Where's I got I got light here. I got light. There you phone? go. There you go. There's light for you. Alright. There's I mean technically I don't really need it on these guys because there is a rubber ring on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll be I'll be alright. It's underneath. Right here where you really need the Teflon. Mm-hmm. I ain't leaking there, so. Let's just move on with it. No leakage. All right. Okay. Next is this thing. I, it was re leaking from this guy. And that was mostly because we couldn't push it all the way up against the wall, right? But because it was leaking there. Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. It's got a lot of... Ew. A lot of fun stuff. And that is actually a downsize pipe. This is a lot thicker. A lot thicker. That should work a lot better. Cinch everything in. See that one will clump. Get that so much nicer. So much nicer right there. It's all tight. All right, well now that Gary's got the guest bathroom all squared away, we've got the uh, the sink running. It's nice, no leak at all down below. We got the splashboard back and we were able to get this pushed all the way up against the wall. The bathroom, as you guys can hear it, it is running because it was just used. Zero leaks, everything is working perfectly. Uh, Mom told me not to do any of the caulking around here. She actually wants to go ahead and handle that herself. And she said she wants to use a different caulk than the caulk that we used before. So she's gonna take care of that one. But now what we're gonna go ahead and do is another thing on mom's honey-do list. She needs some lights in these closets. So Gary has actually already opened up the box and you can see the light right there. But this is uh, the light that mom got. She got a two pack of 11 inch ceiling lights and they're by Design House. Gary's gonna go ahead and get them installed right up there. So this one's gonna be really interesting. So I'm gonna go probably over to the other side first. <laughs> okay. Um, so what's going on in here? So this mounting plate is extremely close to the wall. Mm to where that big round mounting plate is not gonna fit right there. So I'm gonna have to adjust it and make it to where it comes out this way and then attach. Okay, I see what you're doing. So. <laughs> Since that one's gonna be a little. That one's gonna be a little tricky. Let's go over to the other one. Okay. <laughs> I've seen that is uh, more so in the middle. So okay. let's see if that one works a little bit better. Now mom has got this room just about all cleared out. She's getting ready to do some more carpeting in here on top of these floors. I'm hoping I don't have to turn off the power in here. Not that to is find out. <laughs> the light switch is off. Yeah, please don't. So yeah. If you hear me go that real quick, you know why. This one's gonna be easy because this one's more in the middle. 
and the other one's like right up against here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna triple check and see where, but I might have to screw into the joist and mount this guy. Okay. So we'll see what happens on that second one. This one looks like it's gonna pan out perfectly. You got light. Let there be You're light. awesome, Gary. There we are. Yay. What a difference a light makes. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a difference a light makes. You can see. Yeah, a yeah those are bright. Thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. All righty. Well, I've got the one closet light installed. This one closet right here. The box is a little close to uh, the inner wall right here to where it's not really gonna fit in the mounting spot um, that was originally there for it. Um, I do have a plan to be able to get that light in there and still use the light that she bought. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out a different mounting method for it though. So we'll definitely uh, have to tackle that another day. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go mess with the master bathroom and get that vanity out. I couldn't get it out last time because the hole was literally the size of a PEX pipe and I couldn't get a fitting out of there or anything else like that without having to, uh, you know, chop the PEX pipe. And now I've got all my tools to where I can actually do that. So <laughs> now is a good time to do that. And I don't have to keep the water turned off and whatnot, you know? Yep. So first things first, I might as well set myself up for success. I already know it is half inch PEX pipe. So I gotta remove my rings here. Uh, where's that? Where's my half inch, half inch right here? I'll get this guy in. Okay, that should mash together. That's my half inch crimping tool. No-go gauge. Slap this back in here. I'm so glad that we got this uh, this size, and I'm hoping that it's half inch <laughs> and not three eighths, because I don't have three eighths PEX pipe or crook rings. So I'll triple check that before I cut it. But I want to say it is half inch. I, I hope don't. So, man. I, hope so. I don't see it being three eighths, but then again. There is that possibility. There's always a chance. So I'm hoping we'll see before I cut it. But I should need all of this stuff. All right. Let's go get it. All righty. Well, we are back underneath the vanity. And basically what happened is the holes where the PEX pipes are coming out, it's literally the size of the PEX pipe. Not big enough for this fitting to come through with it. So we'll definitely have to adjust that and fix that. But yeah, it's just literally that perfect size. So yeah, 
or before I go ahead and go ham and cut it, I gotta open up these guys. Quarter turn, eh? Get all that water out of there. She's got some good water pressure back here. So with the water off, it's just, it's going. So now, it is time for me to cut. And it looks like the cold is the one that really wants to go a little bit more. So let's start with the hot. Baby, I'm gonna need your help here. How can I help, baby? So soon. Okay, so now grab your camera. Okay, Ooh, got it. Grab this yeah. guy. Got the light. Get my help picking that thing up. Okay. We're gonna get this pex part off. Give it a couple. Inches should come right off, just like so. Nice. And now, grabbing this, popping this, pop that back on, and that will be able to get put back on there. And we can cap it and turn off the water. I'm gonna chop this guy close to, if I can get as close as I can to that fitting, that will be better for this tool. So now what I can do is get in here. Around, to where I can pull it up. Okay. Now with this guy, pop that in. I always go back and or two opposite ways of it. Hot water is done. Ok, 
Okay. All right. Well, we chopped down quite a bit on Mama's honeydew list today. Yep. Gary, thank you so much for helping out my mom. Yep. Thank anytime. You, Gary. Anytime. Yeah. And Mama. Oh, where, where's she at? There she is. Thank you, Gary. Aww. Anytime. Anytime. Yep, Mom, we're going to come back to do that other uh, light inside the guest bedroom again. Yep. Um, Gary knows what he's got to get to get that one going. I can not believe that way they did that. I know it. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Older houses, you know? It's always something. That's okay. Yeah, so, but I'm, I just got to get the rest of my stuff out of my room. Mm -hmm. Get it in that other room, and then... Yeah. Once this install is done, I'll be so happy. I'm right? sure. Okay. <laughs> get, get the, finish the carpet and then the linole, you know, the uh, bathroom floors. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a lot, a lot off my plate once that's done. Yes, no. and yeah. when it's when it is done, we'll come back and we'll install the other toilet and the other vanity, and get the other light in. We'll have another day over here once you get no. those flooring and stuff done. So I appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, Can no problem. Serious? I love you, mom. I love you, sweetie. I love you, mama. I love you, honey. Well, guys, um, the kids actually got off, as you can see them wandering around the background, the kids actually got off the bus here at Grandma's house. Say hi. Hi, Lily. Hi. They got paid in popsicles <laughs> by Grandma for going out and moving some... Uh, some One brick. A brick. They moved well, a, well, a brick. it was a cinder block. Yeah. But they had to, strategic, they had to drag it underneath the porch. Hmm. Yeah, they got paid in popsicles Under today. Under the porch. Before dinner and everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Luckies. No. <laughs> Speaking of dinner, though, we actually have to start winding it up and getting home. Um, I'm going to start making some dinner and uh, getting these guys showered and ready for bed. So we're going to call this one a video and wrap it up and call it a day. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and watching today's episode. Um, make sure to go over to my mom's channel, Now What? Travel Ready on a Not So Simple Road, and check out all the work that she's going down here on her farmhouse build. She's got floors going in, carpet going in. She's been working really hard in her yard. Um, as you guys saw in the last video, she's got ducks and chickens and turkeys and <laughs> she's the dog rescue rescuer I am. so yeah yeah I am. make sure to go check her out and show her some love guys but again we're gonna run so y'all know the drill until the next one friends we love y'all and we hope you have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one bye, bye. bye.